So the cost minimization problem for the firm is to minimize WZ, where Z, of course, is the vector of inputs. W is the vector of prices for the inputs, such that the production function f of z is greater than or equal to some level, some output level q. So I solve this and the solution is the conditional factor demand, z star conditional factor demand, which is a function of price and output level. Uh, this is basically, you can think of this as an input vector producing at least Q, Q being uh, a certain number of units of output. The value function here is the cost function. So value function is a cost function C, which is a function of prices and again output level, which you get simply by plugging in the solution. So the z star is being plugged into the objective function that we're trying to minimize. Now I'm, de I'm deriving Shepard's lemma uh, using the envelope theorem again. It's the same logic. We've done this already three times. Um, what does the envelope theorem say? It says that the derivative of the value function with respect to one parameter here, the cost of the input, is equal to the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to that same parameter, which here is equal to the uh, input vector z. And we can see this by simply writing out the, uh, the Lagrangian here for the cost minimization problem. Lagrangian is the cost of the input, or rather the cost of um, the input, the, the, the optimal input, as given by the conditional factor demand, less lambda, plus, it doesn't matter, times f of z, d star minus q. And we can see that when we take the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to wealth, that um, everything drops out except for z, or z star, which is the optimal input vector, which basically minimizes the cost to produce q units of output.